This pulls out. Let me see. Uh, let me see what I can do. Gonna do it. Let's just roll it. Yeah, just roll it, man. I'm rolling. How's it going? Isaiah here with Campo Vans. Today we've got an extra special treat. Behind me here is the probably the most multi-use van we've ever done, while also only being good for one use. And that one use is a mobile recording studio. So we built this van for a company called Sunset Youth. And what they do is go around and allow youth that wouldn't normally get the opportunity to who record their music, a really great space to do so. From day one of the build on this van, we knew we were gonna delineate it into two sides. Essentially we have the front half here, which is the control room. And then we have the back half through this window, which is what we're calling the live room. So it's more the studio, it's where the musicians are. But for now, we're gonna start in this room. Everything about this uh, insulation wise is standard. So we have all thermal insulation. Of course, we have a beautiful desk with that carbonized bamboo top. As you can see, we've got all the audio distribution equipment, um, which runs into the other room as well. That also runs over to headphone jacks throughout the van. So we've got two on the wall there, two on the B pillar there. We've actually got two on the side of the cabinet here. Idea being you have this door open. A couple of people can be sitting outside listening to music as well, hearing what's going on in the live room. Underneath the countertop here, we got a little pull out keyboard. This goes out. Of course, when this is in use, You'll have a little rolly chair here. Up on top, we've got the monitor controls, a couple monitor speakers, a camera out the back so you can see who is entering and exiting the live room, a couple 110 outlets, and then all the controllers we're gonna need for all the lighting in the van. Now to power all this electrical, we have um, a pretty big battery bank. We've got four 100 amp hour lithium batteries from Battleborn. That's all running through a 6,000 watt inverter, thanks to Victron. Uh, we're also using the Victron solar charge controller and we have 640 watts of solar on the roof. So quite a bit, pretty much covering the whole thing. Idea being, they don't wanna worry at all about the electricity while they're using all the instrumentation they wanna use, all the recording equipment. Up above me here, kind of a standard for us. Uh, a couple overhead cabs, just for storage. Over here, we've got all our controls, solar charge controller, all the battery monitoring, thanks to Victron. You'll notice all these latches, there are standard latches, except we've actually opted for uh, a lockable option. And on this side, little double door with some 110 charging capability in there. You'll notice these controllers are a little different than normal. Those are actually powering a couple uh, baffled fans that are exhausting and intaking into the live room. Idea being there, they all run through soundproof baffles, so they're nice and quiet. You can actually run them while uh, recording if need be. So that's uh, just about it for this side. We've also gone ahead and added swivel seats on both the driver and passenger. Now the fun part, let's get into the live room. So we've got a a whole nother wall here. And now the reason for that is this entire room back here is actually a room within a room. In order to create a space that is truly soundproof, uh, like a recording studio, you need to have everything isolated. So what that means is nothing in this room could be directly attached to the exterior of the van. The vibration of sound waves comes through those connections, even if they're screws or glued on and then I'll come into the room and you'll hear, especially those lower tones. So what we did to isolate that room is everything's on a rubber feet. So the whole floor is raised, all the walls are in. This is a double layer wall with insulation in between. And then open this, uh, for the purposes of this video, there's a remote right here, but in the future, uh, access will only be granted from the control room. So you click a little button. I don't know if you heard that, but there's a little beep. Open this guy up. You can see our latch is a magnetic latch. Perfect uh, application for this. One, because it can be easily switched from the other room and it's very secure. And two, it's a fail safe. So if somebody's in this room and the power goes out, it unlatches. That's really important. We really don't want anybody getting stuck in here. So you'll see here, looks like a recording studio mostly because of this foam stuff, but there's a lot more to it than that. And we've got three layers of sound deadening in here. If you'll allow me, I'd like to demonstrate how soundproof it really is. That's good. 
So now that you understand the sheer power of noise insulation. Another really nice carbonized bamboo desk. This one is lowerable. So it comes right down, totally out of the way. Now, when we were building it, we were pretty worried about the size in here. Obviously it's in the back of a van and a lot of campers can even feel a little small sometimes, but it actually is all right. We have just enough headroom for someone who's 5'10 like me. Plenty of room for a couple people to be in here performing. You see this behemoth, you probably noticed it from the other side too. Fully soundproof uh, recording studio window. We got this custom built. It's amazing how well it works. Also a beautiful fit and finish. Trim that out with the carbonized bamboo as well. Up above here, mic stand coming off the ceiling. And then of course you'll notice one of those little touches that we're really excited about, the creator had in mind. These little um, backlit LEDs pointing at the ceiling. All control from the other room, all kinds of colors and such. And then that backlit logo that I mentioned earlier. Really proud about how that came out. We've got L-Track over here holding up a couple of our Campo bags. May just end up going with one of these or two of these depending on who's in here. Bench seat, a little bit of storage underneath. And here is one of those fans I mentioned. Now this one is super soundproof. The duct is actually completely baffled and there's a ton of noise packing stuffed in there around the fan. The fan's probably about done here, but that hose winds up and around through insulation to here. And that's just one of the many things we did to keep this room really quiet. As far as exterior mods are concerned, the FADS awning, that's the one that mounts directly to the Mercedes um, factory rail. Idea behind that is we're gonna be able to pull this awning out and folks are gonna be able to hang out here, maybe listen to audio via the headphone jacks uh, coming out of the vehicle. And um, 